Those of you who were over 40, did you ever think we'd be in a situation where blue-collar workers are voting Republican? <laughs> no, no, let's, let's we've got to be honest, man. Because they think we forgot them. They think we don't care. First one. They introduced another bill to limit the president's authority over the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Because they're mad, I use that authority to lower gas prices by $1.50 a gallon, period. Uh, but I reported today on the state of the economy. Uh, this morning's report showed that we added the economy strong. We added more jobs, over half a million jobs this last month. And, and the, re re the re calibration of last month, all children in daycare, center, daycare centers exist that they're. And today I am now proud to stand here with you, Senator, and to support the president to get more and more things here in Pennsylvania. Improving the roads and the bridges, replace the lead pipes, and they get more stuff done. And that's really what Democrats like us, like the president, get doing for the last two years. I want you all to know, I want you to know, baby, you did so much. And I love your earrings. Thank you. Well, folks, uh, and we should all support replacing the lead pipes and ensuring that everyone has clean, safe, clean drinking work, uh, water. We've united the, we've united the Asia. Jobs are up, wages are up, inflation is down. We paid for everything we did. And unlike the Republicans, we cut the deficit $1.7 trillion in two years. So we have a lot to be thankful for in our president. Democrats, we are delivering. Actually, we are delivering big time. I've always believed we could define America in one world. I spent a lot of time with Xi Jinping when I was vice president the last couple of years. Barack asked me to spend time with him <coughs> because we knew he was going to be president. It wasn't appropriate for a president to be spending all the time. So I mean, it's a sales. Hello, Philadelphia. I'm Joe Biden's husband. She's a Philly girl. So the first thing I'm going to say is go, Eagles, fly, Eagles, fly. Now, the good news is I happen to mean it, but even if I didn't, I'd say, you know why? Otherwise, I'd be sleeping alone. She is, everybody sit down. As the mayor knows, she is one <clears throat> self-assured Philly fan. No matter what, my wife hates violence, she says. I told Bobby Casey this. We went to a Flyers game a couple years ago. And the feist, uh, and we're, the Secret Service is in a box and next to us. To make, anyway, and there's a, a fight breaks out. And my wife, who hates violence, goes, Hit him! Get him! Here, jump him up! The Secret Service looking, where the heck did that come from? Thank you, Kamala. Thank you very much. You guys don't have to stand up here. Come on, why don't you go? So before I begin, if I might just refer to the governor's concern about my attendance today. <laughs> You worry a little too much. <laughs> but as a proud 49ers fan, congratulations to everyone here and the Eagles. <laughs> and good luck in the Super Bowl. 